In this video, we'll show you how to connect to your Parrot Mini Cargo Drone, or whatever Parrot Mini Drone you plan to use, and program it with the Tinker app. That's a block-based programming, like Blockly or Scratch, Snap, and so forth, in a block-based programming. So I've already gone ahead and I've downloaded the Tinker app. So we click on the Tinker app and wait for it to load up. Again, this is available for both iOS and Android. Close that out. Click on Projects down in the bottom left. I'm going to delete this current project I do not need. And then I'm going to click on Create New Project. So we're assuming that we've never created a project in here, even though you can see I personally have created projects. We're going to click on Blank Template up here in the top left. And then we're going to get rid of our little actor here because we actually don't need him, we want a drone. So we're going to click on the trash bin and then confirm that we want to get rid of him. Next we want to come up to the top right here and click on the plus sign. And then we want to select connect device. That's the drone here in the top right. Then we want to select the correct drone we want to use. The first one is the Mambo followed by the cargo mini drone, by, followed by the night, um, I don't know what that is, it's the night drone with the lights on it, and then the rolling spider. We want the cargo mini drone for my example, but depending on which drone you have, select the connect, or correct drone. They'll all work the same the way we're practicing the functions of the programming. Next what we want to do is we want to make sure the drone is connected. So make sure that your Bluetooth is on. That's the B right here. Or it looks like a B with two little wings coming out the back of it next to the Wi-Fi. So I have Bluetooth on. I make sure I tap on my drone to select it and it shows us the code, the joystick, and the option to throw it away. Click on the joystick so we can confirm that it's um, been tethered to the Bluetooth. And as we can see, my Mars rover, or my sorry, my Mars drone has been tethered to the Bluetooth for this iPad. Next, go ahead and click on the code. That's the two brackets with the forward slash in it right above the joystick. So we click on that and we see it says when actor touched. We don't want when actor touched. We want on start. So I'm going to go ahead and take my finger and I'm going to hold down on when actor touched. Drag it over and trash it. Then I'm going to come over right now. Notice in the star on the left, that's the common library that you use with the drones or with whatever robotic device you have connected. Go ahead and scroll on down until you find the on start. With the on start selected, go ahead, scroll on back up. And for this first example, all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead Click and hold down on take off, drag it and snap it underneath on start. Go ahead, do the same thing with stop. You don't have to do stop, but I like to give it a stop for like half a second to almost one second. And then do the same thing with land, drag it on over, snap it, and that's it and you're finished. Now go ahead and make sure you have your drone in a place that's not in the way of anything else. And then go ahead and click the play button. So I'm going to do that so you can see what I've done. I'm going to pause real quick before I continue. Okay, so right now I'm going to go ahead and push the play button. And there we have. It flew up, it flew down, and it's good. So now we're back to the Tinker environment. Notice that stop is still, still there. Click on the stop button. That means we've end our code and that we can add new code to the project or create a new project. Another hint to note too is if you come up to the top right next to the plus sign to the left of it there's a little monster guy there. If we click on him it says if you need help with any blocks go ahead and drag them. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's click and drag on the emergency block and drag it over our little monster guy. And it tells us that the emergency cuts off power to the parrot drone. And if we scroll, it says, when I receive emergency, run the emergency. Let's do one more button. So let's say, is connected, drag it on over. 
Connected returns true if connected to Peritron, otherwise return false. This is a little bit more advanced, but you can say, if the parrot is connected, then I want you to broadcast that it is ready to receive commands. Thanks for watching.